What's up family? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name's Alexia and today we're gonna be investigating another Roblox Brookhaven zombie apocalypse outbreak because stuff's going down right now in Brookhaven and I don't think it's too good. Are they eating up all the poor innocent Robloxians? Uh yeah, I think they are. So we're gonna take a little look-see on the situation and uh, see if we can stop it. Maybe, unless they eat us first. But before we start today's video, I need you all to smash that like button if you don't want the zombies to eat us. And also, it is our goal to get 1 million subscribers on this channel by the end of this year. So I need you all to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed already. I would really appreciate it. I love you and thank you. Mwah. But let's get zombie hunting. Wow, zombies have taken over everywhere? Oh no. I can't believe it. I didn't think zombies were real. Wait, you can't believe that the zombies are coming? But to be honest, I can't believe about your red hair do you got. I wasn't sure if that was you or a freshly picked tomato from my garden. <laughs> but I like it. All right, Nelson, it's time. It's time for us to go. Dad, are you okay? Uh, no, I, I'm not feeling very good. Dad, I'm scared. What's going on? Everything is falling apart, Nelson. The world is coming undone, and we have to go. We have to hide. We have to go to the bunker, the safe house. I don't want to leave. I'm scared. Well, it's either you leave or you become a zombie, dude. I don't think it's that hard of a choice. I mean, hey, if you want to become half Hulk, half vampire, go ahead. But me, I'd rather sit on my couch, watch some Netflix, and... Eat my chicken nuggets in peace without being a zombie. You know what I mean? Family, comment down below if you are team human or team zombie. And I'll like your comment. I want to stay here. Oh, oh, Nelson, listen to your father, okay? Everything is going to be fine. You're going to be okay. You're going to go on and live your life. A long, happy, healthy life. And you're going to be fine. Dad, you're not okay. What's going on? I'm sorry, Nelson. <coughs> you need to get to the safe house. You you need to run. I'm I'm sorry. Dad, please. Oh! 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 oh my god. What the flip was that? Do not tell me that Nelson's dad just turned into a zombie. Oh man, family, grab your covers because it's about to get scary. I want to leave you, but I have to. Please stay away. Oh no, he's running after him. Run, Nelson, run. Oh, man. The world is so different now. I don't know where to go or what to do. Thankfully, I found this bat so I can protect myself. Thankfully, I found this bat so I can whack, whack, whack people if they get in my way. Everything's so different. It looks like a completely different world. Oh my gosh, will you stop crying? Please, please let me go, please. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, oh. Give me everything you've got. Oh. Food, weapons, whatever. I swear, I swear I don't have anything. Please, <laughs> please just let me go. Wait, that dude is not even a zombie. Why is he doing this to her? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Leave her alone. Ow. Thank you so much for saving me. Yeah, of course. Listen, we gotta go, okay? We can't stay here. Uh, okay, but where are we gonna go? I don't know, but follow me. Well, I think we'll be safe in this treehouse for a while. Thank you so much for saving me. I, I don't know what's going on around here. Everybody started acting crazy and I, I just don't understand anything. Yeah, I get it. I felt the same way. The zombies have been ruining everything. My dad actually turned into a zombie right in front of me. It was really scary. I'm really sorry that happened. I, uh, I was with my boyfriend when all this happened and he was attacked by a zombie right in front of me and uh, just right after he proposed too. So I can relate to you, I guess. Whoa. Her boyfriend turned into a zombie right after he proposed to her. 
What a tragic love story. Or should I say tragic zombie nightmare? Cause this don't seem real. I'm Sally. Oh man, I'm really sorry to hear that. That must have been really hard. I'm Nelson, by the way. I'm really glad to have met you, Nelson. You, you saved me. <laughs> by the way, I, do you happen to have some food on you? I, I'm really hungry. Oh yeah, let me just grab my uh, double Big Mac out of my pocket with a medium fry and give it to you. I'm really hungry. No, I'm all out, but I think I know where to get some. Uh, that's great. We should go get it together then. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. You stay here. I'll go grab it myself. Did she just ask him out on a date? Little zombie apocalypse outing? I mean, they say find somebody adventurous, but I think this is taking it too far. Oh, okay. Well, uh, be safe. I was only able to find one can of food. Ugh. I really need to find more if Sally and I can are going to survive. Can peas and carrots? Maybe I'll find more food at the coffee shop. I need to get going. <gasps> Oh no, not this! Run, run, buddy, run! The zombies are coming, the zombies are coming! <gasps> I can't look, I can't look! You, stop right there! Whoa, hey, 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 I'm a good guy. Uh, yeah, right, that's what everybody says, I don't believe you! Here, I have this can of food, you can have it. Okay, I'll give it to you. Giving him a pack of canned beans and carrots? I think that's more of an act of evil than an act of kindness because those things are disgusting. Ugh. Just put your gun down, please. Oh, wow. Well, thanks, dude. I mean, food is really in hard supply right now. I'm sorry for pointing a gun at you. <laughs> it's okay. I know how tough things are right now. I'm sorry, I'm just so on edge. My whole family was kidnapped by bandits and... I'm, I'm the only one left. Really? I'm so sorry. Ever since that day, the, the first zombies started showing up, everything has just gone downhill. We tried our best to survive, and, and then those bandits came. And now I'm just all alone. So I had to defend myself. Listen, I have a base if you wanted to join me. You could come stay with us if you want. Really? That actually sounds kind of nice. It's better than running around trying to hide on these streets. Yeah, definitely. So, what do you say? Do you trust me? Yeah. Yeah, man. I absolutely trust you. Okay, well then follow me. Yeah, stranger I just met two seconds ago that just pointed up at my face. I totally trust you. Why shouldn't I? <sighs> Yikes. Oh man, I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? Sally, I'm back. And I found someone. Oh, uh, hi. Is he trusted? Oh, yeah, totally trustworthy. A couple minutes ago, he pointed a gun at I, You know what? Never mind. That's not important. He's trustworthy, I swear. Yeah, don't worry. I promise I mean no harm. I'm, I'm Ezra. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Ezra. I'm Sally. It's nice to meet you, too. Thanks, Nelson. I really appreciate you helping me out. Yeah, of course. We good guys all gotta stick together. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was thinking actually it would be nice to find more survivors and help them out. And they could help us too. Yeah, that's a great idea, but where are you gonna find these people? Well, I might have an answer for that. Look, I got this old radio to work. No way, really? Um, I think it works, hopefully. Uh, let's turn it on. And the world is gone. I, Slicer, am building an army to fight back these zombies who took over our world and destroyed it. Did he just call himself Slicer? I, Slicer. Oh man. I don't think that sounds like he's gonna be slicing through only zombies. Probably humans too. The old world is gone and this new world order will reign supreme. We'll clear back the zombie invasion and take back what's rightfully ours. Whoever doesn't join my group will be shot on sight. No questions asked. Absolute loyalty in these tough times is everything. Well, that guy doesn't sound really friendly, does he? Mm -mm. Not at all. Well, we gotta stay away from him. Yeah, I think it might be best if we keep to ourselves for a while and kind of lay low. I mean, who knows? This group could be everywhere. 
Oh man, where are they going? Keep out authorized personnel only? Well, the message <gasps> is out there now. Let's see if anybody takes our warning seriously. Whoa, hey, what, what, what's going on? What are you doing here? Hey, I, I recognize you. Look, I just came here to talk. All right, let's hear her out. All right, well, first off, I'm sorry about earlier. Listen, I, you know, I'm just trying to survive out here. Look, I don't care what happened, but I heard your message, Slicer, and I want to join the crew. Smart girl. <laughs> but I gotta know, why do you want to join me? Because the zombies took something very, very precious from me. My favorite person in this entire world world was ripped from my very grasp. You might think I'm talking about my fiance, my husband to be, my one true love, but I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about my dog Cheeto. And I swear to God, if those zombies don't give my poor precious puppy back, oh, it's gonna be war. And there's gonna be Cheeto dust flying everywhere. And the spicy kind that hurts when you get it in your eyes. Mm-hmm. My favorite person in this entire world was ripped from my very grasp and I will destroy every single zombie, no matter who gets in my way. <laughs> I like your style. We've all lost a lot in this apocalypse and a great loss like that will change people for the better. So what do you say? You wanna take out some revenge on some zombies? Give me a weapon and point me in the direction of the zombies. I'll show you what I'm capable of. Ooh, that didn't sound too good. It's about Where to go down. Off to? We really have to find her. Yeah, I know. And these streets are not the same anymore. It's really dangerous out here, especially if you're alone. I'm really worried about her. Do you think she's okay? I don't know. I don't know why she ran away in the first place, but I think we should split up. That way we could cover more ground. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can meet back at the base in an hour. And be safe, okay? All right, dude. You be safe, too. Good luck. Be safe? Telling somebody to be safe in a zombie apocalypse is like telling somebody to be healthy at McDonald's. It just ain't gonna happen. Sally? Sally, are you down here? Oh, man, I don't see anything. Give me everything you have. Whoa, hold on. Wait, Sally? Bro, here I am thinking the whole time that this dude is the bad guy, when in reality, it's the ones that we didn't expect. She switched around on them uh, real quick. What, what are you doing? Everything, now. Seriously, Sally? I, I should have known better. We shouldn't have trusted you. You know what? You can't trust anyone in this world. Well, I can trust Nelson. He's a good person. Nelson trusted you as well. Mm -hmm. Can't believe you're doing this. Why, Sally? Tell me why. To survive. I'm sorry. Oh no, is she gonna oh get gosh, Nelson too? It's on fire. <gasps> Our base is gone. Ezra? Ezra, are you here? Uh, Nelson, your home base might be on fire, but with that red sweater and that red hair, are you sure you're not a fire truck? You probably got a hose on you somewhere that you can put that fire out. Oh my gosh, what if he was inside? Oh no, this can't be happening. Death, chaos, and destruction. Oh, that's happening. <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey, take it easy. You're coming with us. And we're not giving you an option. Wait, you're Slicer. You're the guy from the radio. That ain't a Slicer. Have you seen this dude's glasses and hair? That's Harry Potter, but instead of having a wand, my dude's got a water blaster. Cause they be looking identical. Wait, you're Slicer. You're the guy from the radio. Yeah, that's me, leader of the new order but I did receive a special request. What? Sally wants to see you. <gasps> what did you do with Sally? I didn't do anything. She joined me willingly. No, no, she wouldn't have done that. Give Sally back. You're not gonna follow us quietly, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. <gasps> oh, what happened? Ezra? Ezra, are you okay? 
Nelson! Oh man, I'm glad you finally woke up. Uh, my leg is really hurt, but I think I'll be okay. Do you know where we are? No, I've never seen this place before. <gasps> Hello, boys. Sally! Of course it's you! Sally, what are you doing? Did you really join Slicer? I did. What about it? I did. What about it? You got a problem with that? Cause if you do, I got something that rhymes with done that I ain't afraid to use on you. You know what I mean? Why would you do that? I thought I could trust you. I had no other choice. There's always another choice. No, that's easy to say, but there is no other choice for me. I hate the zombies. I hate this whole situation. They took away my fiance. And your dog <laughs> Cheeto. Can't forget about him. I hate absolutely everything. I, I need to get my revenge. You don't understand. We all lost people, Sally. I lost my whole family. Nelson lost his dad. But that doesn't make what you're doing right. We need to fight for what's right. We need to be good. We can't be going around hurting people. Sally, just just leave Slicer's group and come back with us. I can't do that. Yes, you saved me, Nelson, and I will always remember that. So I'm going to cut you guys a deal. The next time I see you guys, you will be my enemies. But I'm going to let you go now, all right? Sally, it's not too late. You can leave Slicer and you can come back with us. No, I can't. It's already been decided for me. Look, you guys still have time. Go. Fine. If that's your choice, then we won't try to stop you. Come on, Ezra, let's go. Man, this took us a long time, but it looks great. I'm glad we put the base back together. Yeah, we really need a safe place to stay. Lately, there seems to be way more zombies around than usual. Yeah, you're right, but... I think our future will be better. Really? You think so? Yeah, we'll save more people and we'll get a real group together. Yeah, I think you're right. There have to be more survivors out there somewhere. Oh no, and she's two. back! Well, oh, Nelson, run! Run, Nelson, run, run! Oh man, oh no! Oh my gosh, I forgot my weapon in the base! Yeah, I did too, but... Well, it's okay. I'll run and I'll grab them, all right? Okay, be quick and be safe. <gasps> oh no, there's another one. Wait, Ezra, no! But to be honest, family, he looks kind of old, so maybe we don't have to worry about him. He's probably more concerned about finding a walker than he is about attacking other humans. He probably needs an adult diaper, too. Ezra, Ezra, oh my gosh, no, not again. <gasps> Oh no, Ezra! Ezra Not please, Ezra! No. Ezra, you gotta hang in there. I'll find a cure, okay? I'll find a cure and I'll save you. And I'll save everyone. Find a cure? Dude, you can't find no cure for zombies. If they turned into a zombie, they gone gone. Like never coming back gone. So gone that you can't even see them in the distance gone. They screwed. But anyways, family, that is all of the crazy zombie apocalypse Roblox video that I have for you today. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. If they're gonna be okay or if Brookhaven's in big trouble. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to help us get to 1 million subscribers by the end of this year, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications so you won't miss any of my videos. I love you all so much, family. Stay safe from all the zombies. And I'll see you all in my next video.